Shalom Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Again, breaking news. We have a yet another earthquake, a 5.3 earthquake. This earthquake here is actually uh, just taken place just a few moments ago there. It is in Argentina. Uh, we looked up real quick on the internet uh, just to get an idea from the U.S. Uh, uh, G's uh, site there, a 5.3 magnitude in Antonio de los, de los Cabres, Argentina, is where the earthquake is at. It has uh, happened within the hour here. Um, from, from what we can see here, uh, it is on the, uh, the western side of the country, not far from where uh, the last earthquake struck earlier this morning, uh, the six point. Uh, I believe that was a 6.5 earthquake that actually struck this morning in Ecuador. And again, as I was saying to you earlier, the ring of fire, that's the earthquakes that are going off right now, uh, you know, which that, that's common. It's not that it's not an uncommon thing there. Uh, I want to thank to a very precious sister there. She's always on our uh, channel there. Um, and she was kind enough to actually give me the information about a particular website here that gives a 3D imagery of uh, these earthquakes that are going on. Uh, and I've not quite learned how to use it yet, but uh, uh, I did power this up. I wanted to show you some of this now because of the ring of fire, as those of you that are more aware of this probably than I am, uh, about the ring of fire, how that works. We're looking at the Pacific Ocean here in between the continents of the United States and China, where it all began uh, yesterday or, or early this morning, actually, just after midnight time, we had the 4.5 earthquake. Uh, it started down here in the uh, uh, Fiji Islands, uh, or actually in Taiwan, going up into the Philippines, into the uh, Fiji Islands as well. Uh, right on around, it looks also that Japan uh, has also had a 4.5 earthquake uh, there around there. I was unaware that Japan had had one uh, too. Uh, and let's just quickly, let's jump, jump over to the uh, USG uh, uh, site there and let's see what they're showing on, on theirs as well in the Ring of Fire. Uh, and I, let's see here, guys. Let me just kind of back it up over here. Yes, we are seeing here in Japan here. Yes, there's a 4.5 earthquake uh, on the uh, NAMI, Japan. Uh, for those of you that are keeping up with what's going on here, as of yet, I don't think any news sources has reported the one here in Argentina. Uh, as yet, I'm sure there's somebody who's reported it, but normally RT News is one of the ones that I see that catches these different things that are happening uh, globally, uh, but they have not reported as of yet there. RT, though, is reporting a, uh, a situation in Paris. Paris police car set ablaze as officers protest brutality against them. Uh, that was kind of a strange thing to see the police car set ablaze that a police car has been torched in central Paris after an angry crowd surrounded the vehicle. Police said the incident took place as a police demo against public hatred was confronted with a counter rally. Several protesters uh, surrounded the car in an attempt to break its windows uh, and kind of give you a little update of what's going on right there. And yes, th this is nuts, guys. Absolutely nuts that they're just attacking the police car in this way here. Uh, you know, it's just nuts. The protesters are just crazy. Smoke coming out of the car. A policeman gets out of the car there. As a woman police officer there. This, this is just, this is, this is, it's insane. It is absolutely insane. The protests that have been breaking out in Paris. And this has been week after week, day after day. This has been happening here. Uh, it has been just insane. Well, the, the things that are happening inside of Paris, uh, the protest, all, all over uh, Europe, we've been seeing protests. And we've been out as part of this, uh, catching the things that are going on. Uh, we're just there in Berlin with the Palestinians. Theirs was peaceful, though, but the, what's going on in Paris and last week in Berlin was just chaotic at the very least. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benhoon giving you some of this live update here, uh, and we're watching it. Again, got to thank the sister there that was so kind to 
send me this information here. Uh, she's got a channel name. I won't call the channel name, uh, but I'm just not familiar with her, her actual name there, but it's very kind of her. So we can actually see this a little bit better up as we're talking about these earthquakes. And as you can see, they are heating up. Uh, the United States as well. Um, Alaska had some pretty big ones, 4.5 and, and bigger, right on down, even in Mexico, 4.3. Again, Chile, excuse me, Ecuador, 6.5 earthquake this morning uh, that really was rocking that area there, and then followed up by a 5.3 just now, moments ago, in Argentina. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom, and God bless you.